I feel like preaching now because I don't need you to be in love with something that's passing. I need you if you're going to love. Love something that's permanent. I feel it here. And in order for you to express your love for me, I've got to see it in how you love what's in my image. So how can you say you love God whom you have never seen and not love your yellow, red, black, white, pink brother who you see every day. I feel it in here. You see, when you mistreat your brother, you mistreat my image. When you enslave your brother, you enslave my image. And what do you need slaves for anyway? To acquire the things that are passing. So never do you treat a person with less significant than you see treat things. Because I didn't make things to have a relationship with. I I made you to have a relationship with but you would rather have a relationship with things than have a relationship with me but you need to understand that things can't give you me but I Ah, I feel something happening in here. Uh, the rules, the rules, you'll, you'll rest a little bit. Uh, the rules become significant based on the structure of the genesis. Uh, it, it's all in genetic. I mean, he set it down from the beginning and he will never change. And so now I understand better that whenever there is any ruckus it is generally about things I wish I could talk to you that's why I see now clearly man uh, you know you, you gotta compare things sometimes and, and you know I'm going first class Emirates and then I went first class Virgin and the first class Virgin was like like a complete uh, I mean it was like man I was on a bus somewhere it was nothing compared I shouldn't say that maybe uh, somebody might call me uh, but but I'm telling you it's it's a difference when you're you're first class in Emirates because boom it's a sweet door closed nobody but you uh, a first class virgin is 17 seats times three so you left that one secluded place and then now you're first class virgin now if you're used to flying coach first class virgin is wonderful but if you step to Emirates forget virgin you see here is the problem with man is that he enjoys things and the more exposed to things he is the more difficult it is for him to grasp anything I feel like preaching so what we do is we distort relationships over things so you don't see me for who I am you only see me for what I have I wish I could preach to you but what I have is passing who I am is permanent but you only like me because of what I wear and you only like me because of what I drive and you will manipulate me over what I have but you're wasting your energy because what I have is passing and it's not mine anyway because the earth is the Lord's I feel it here the world and they that dwell therein when you get next 
to me if I'm next to God then you just got next to God by getting next to me I feel it but you want my body but you need to want my spirit because bodies can connect but if spirits don't come together we still have hell to pay I feel, uh, can, can I preach like I feel it? Uh, it's, 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 you all rest a little bit. Uh, just give me a few more minutes. Uh, it's now become critical because uh, he says you can't serve both of them. Uh, God and mammon. So you have to understand what the priority is. The 21st century church has a problem because we've been so caught up in the image that somehow we have to represent that we are close to God. Uh, what is the representation? Uh, uh, please tell me what ambiance can you establish uh, that I can grasp cerebrally uh, and understand that you are close to God. Uh, I know it's decorated but this is just a warehouse uh, that we converted into a church. Uh, a cathedral ceilings uh, and all kinds of expensive furniture does not make the place conducive for the presence of God because it's just outward can I put it another way the temple of the living God is not the building your bodies are the of the living God which means he's not trying to get you to operate an image and oh just raise your hands and, and invite the Lord in oh come on you, you're confusing me because it's his house anyway and you don't invite folk into their own homes I mean I'd love to come to my house and you say oh bishop come into your house the devil what are you doing here this is my house if anybody's going to be invited in it's going to be you and I and that's why the temple is not his house let me take it to Isaiah real quick Isaiah saw him high and lifted up and his train filled the temple if his train filled the temple he was not in the temple because his train I wish you'd get it. His train fill the temple. Give somebody a high five and say God is bigger than your praise. He's bigger than your worship. When you magnify God, you're magnifying him to your own self because he's already as big as he's going to be. So there is no ambiance that says God is here and you can not through your intellectual cognitive ability tell me what anointing is and you can't tell me who's anointed by your brain you can only tell anointing by discernment of spirits I feel something coming so what the 21st century church did we like nice things was distort the very truth of what I presented to make it look as if God is only around opulence and God is only present where there's riches and God only operates where there's creature comforts and the more you have is the more blessed blessed you are until it's made us completely upside down oh 
I feel like preaching here. <laughs> the amount of clothes you have in the closet does not closeness to God mean. The car you drive does not close to God mean. I don't have to have a Ferrari to get close to God. I don't have to have a Porsche to be close to God because God does not move in my car. He moves in my soul. Oh God, I feel it in here. And, and our distortion means that we have abused our brothers and misused our sisters over things. I wish you'd understand it. That makes the preacher no different than the dope pusher. If I'm selling dope, I'm selling dope for money. And if I'm preaching for money, I've got to distort the gospel in order to get rich. I've got to confuse the purity of faith in God over trying to be rich. I feel like preaching. I might as well preach it. Which is a total distortion of truth. Because he said, labor not for the meat that perisheth. But if you want to get something, come get me. Because I came to visit you in the cool of the day. But you cut me off over the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. But all that is outside. So you feel good riding up the Beverly Hills in a Rolls Royce. Because people look at you different in a Rolls Royce than they look at you in a Pinto. You get more attention in a Rolls Royce. But I didn't build you for you to get attention. I made you for me to get attention. And you're more concerned about your attention than you are about my attention. But I've got news for you. You want attention in something you can't retain. I want attention in something that'll give you retention. You can retain me, but you can't retain it because I'm permanent and it's passing away. So you never give up what's permanent. I feel like preaching in here. I feel a breakthrough coming. I feel like lifting him up. Shake somebody's hand like you're going to shake it off. And say, neighbor, it's not about the beauty of your clothes. It's about the beauty of your person. It ain't about what you have. Forget what you have. It ain't yours anyway. You came in here naked. You're going to leave out of here naked. And you're going to carry your soul. You ain't going to drive to heaven in a Bentley. You ain't driving to heaven in a chauffeur driven limousine and you sure ain't flying a private plane. I'm telling you what's going to happen. The trump of God is going to sound. And those that are dead in Christ, not dead in a Bentley, dead in Christ, not dead in a mansion, dead in Christ, not dead in a hut, dead in Christ, shall be called first. And we all shall be caught up to meet him in the sky. Give somebody a high five and say, neighbor, get your priorities right. It ain't in what you have. It's in who you are. So the dope dealer sells out his brother over things. I feel like preaching, Pat. Oh yes, so the robber kills his brother over things. And everybody manipulates and connives over things things and the preacher preaches over things and corrupts the word of God what's the difference everybody is about things and in order for you to love things you're gonna mess up your operation with God 
and when you mess up your operation with God it's expressed by how you treat your brother and I should never sell you out over a watch I should never mistreat you over a car because you are in the image of God and I ought to respect and love you can I preach like a fillet